Hey, it's Jan. Welcome to another no frills video. And I really mean no frills, not a drop of makeup on early in the morning, way early. I still have to exercise. It's like about, what is it? I'm looking in real time. It's 7 11. Oh, I guess that's lucky. <laughs> so, um, you know, when it comes to the Tebu washing machine, it is really cute to look at. Okay. I still have not used it yet because I'm waiting for an answer to a question from the building owner. I do have a question. I'm not going to proceed till I get an answer to a question. Okay. Now, you know, it pays to research. Okay. This is the so-called, and I have to say so-called manual. A lot of people ignore the manuals. You know, I was on the verge of practically ignoring it myself. Because, well, this looks so self-explanatory. Right away, first of all, I'm going to criticize the, uh, I, have, I have no choice. I have to criticize the way this manual is so poorly presented. I mean, you have to like really trip over it and read it, read it, read it. It's like written in the style of English I didn't even know existed, okay? <laughs> okay. Keep in mind, I used to be a teacher, and I have never seen such. I mean, this looks good. This is about the best part of the manual, okay? After that, it's all downhill. That's all I'm saying on that matter. Then I go and find out something rather discouraging. I have watched enough informative videos about these types of washers that I figured, well, now you're an expert. Uh-uh. I'm telling everyone. No matter what model you get, make sure to read the manual. Now, a lot of folks in my observation, now I don't know if it's permissible with their model, so everything is different. But on mine, despite the horrendous version of English, on mine, it, I think it was in the very back of the book, so let me see. Uh, it, it tells you very clearly, do not use in the bathroom room do not use in the bathroom now many people on theirs again different models whatever this one clearly states you know do not use in the bathroom because many people logically believe well it makes sense put it in the tub let it drain in the tub you know let it fill in the tub whatever and this one clearly tells you do not use in the bathroom so okay so then you Figure you're going to, you know, no big deal, really. Just do it in the sink, right? Okay, well, that's not a bad idea. But you better make sure that your machine, the uh, the uh, inlet, reaches your sink. And it's a flimsy inlet. I don't even have to show you. You probably know by now because you've probably researched a ton of these things. So you want to know the truth, the secret sauce? Keep it simple. And that's going to be my plan of action. I am just going to literally, literally, I'm just going to fill it up with like pitchers of water or like pots or whatever, something that you could like easily pour because it's such a small machine. In my case, it's like 16.5, uh, the capacity thingy. So what's, what that means is, for example, if let's say the mini washer, for example, let's say that that's five, then that means I could do like 11. That's something like that. All right. So make a long story short, that's what I will do is just manually fill it up. But here is the best and worst, okay? The best, adorable, the cuteness factor, you can't take away. It is cute. It's like really cute to look at. It almost looks like an old grown toy, to be honest with you. But I didn't buy it to like, you know, to purchase a toy, okay? <laughs> I bought it to get the job done. But here is what they don't tell you of this company. Just saying, just saying, okay. Can you see it? Tabu. That my particular model, of oh, by the way, I can't even find the model number in this manual. Hello. So I have to go back to the website, you know, to find the model number, which is ridiculous. That should be clearly stated, clearly stated in this manual. I don't know if I mis, uh, misspoke and said model, but I meant manual, manual, okay? In the manual, which, um, you know, it was really a challenge. They don't tell you an important part that is absolutely missing 
Okay, okay, look at <laughs> this kind of humorous. I, I mean, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but like, I don't know why. It's, I, and I would like to address this to all manufacturers. Will you please make the print better and bigger for the rest of the world? I don't know why every time you see like these little diagrams and pictures, I'm wearing my reading glasses right now because I was again going over the manual. And of course, you know, please forgive me for my, I just woke up a little while ago look, <laughs> but this is real life. Okay. <laughs> All right. The print cannot be smaller. I think I need uh, reading glasses over my reading glasses to see the small print. That's not good. But guess what is missing, okay? And this is not good because from all the videos, and I've researched a lot of videos, I never knew there were so many videos out there about all these things. And I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys are like so amazing because I learned a lot, a lot from reviewing other people's videos. So keep them coming. They're really, really great. All right. This particular model is missing are you sitting or standing a lint basket or if you want to call it a lint tray whatever you want to call it missing gonzo doesn't have one i researched this entire manual top to bottom horrendous english or not well their version of english from this company i'm sorry if, if you're viewing this this will maybe help your manufacturing a better product in so much as the manual if the manual is supposed to be a key thing tell me if i'm right or wrong if the manual oh read the manual is a key thing can you please make it clear i i, I can't even get into it it's, it's just ridiculous so no lint basket but thanks to the wonderful contributors this is why it pays to research on this platform okay it pays to research and it pays to get all types of opinions. Okay. It's not good for lint to collect in any machine. So what does this mean? Okay. What this means is no lint tray, no matter where I look, I look, of course, obviously in the machine. If you don't know what machine I'm talking about, I will include in the description below my most recent upload about the machine and it'll show you, you know, directly what it looks like in the description there. And it should have been a red flag to me the other day, but I was super excited about, oh, you know, I just got this machine. Oh, it's so cute. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, so happy. But then I said, I'm watching the other videos, right? I said, wait a minute. Something is missing in this model. Now, I thought maybe uh, I just overlooked it. And I'm looking around, around, putting my hand in there. Look what a flash. I did not see a lint trap. Not only that, confirmation of it, you know, like when they show you the picture, you know, the teensy print with all the parts of the unit. Okay, it says parts, name of parts. Okay, it shows the inlets, it shows this, it shows that. Oh, but it doesn't show a lint trap. Okay, so guess what? Here's what you get. Here is what you get. Okay, and I guess this is to secure. This is like a ring. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Let me let me try to make it hopefully pick up a little better. It's it's a ring. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming that this is for there you go. That this ring is for uh, securing the um, the inlet hose from the sink over. Okay. So I'm like, okay. All right. Anyway, inlet hose, flimsy. Um, the drain thing seems pretty decent. It seems pretty decent. So I'm really happy about that because that's really important. Inlet hose, eh, fill it up a couple of times. The uh, manual distinctly says, do not use in bathroom. So I am passing this along. Now, it kind of makes sense because, you know, water and electricity, eh. If you're not careful, you, know, you got your, let's think about that for a second, right? You have your electrical cord hanging in the bathtub. And if your drain goes haywire for whatever the reason, I don't know the reason, I'm not in your shoes, uh, that's never a good combination. So I, I get that. I don't know if that applies to every single model, but I'm thinking like, okay, because it's like, it, it, you know, shows the do's and the don'ts, like, 
in like a little picture format of which you have to figure it out. Actually, in the diagram, actually, to me, it looks more like a toaster. But let me see if I can find it so you know what I'm saying. It, it's not just my imagination. So, okay, so that means one has to purchase separately. And thankfully that they exist. A lint filter. It looks like maybe like a little daisy, little trap, little lint trap. And you throw it into your wash water. I mean, thankfully, they exist. But that means an extra expense. So what they try to do is cheap it out and advertise this beautiful brand new machine. So looking so great. I don't know. To me, this thing looks more like a diagram, looks more like a toaster. But but that's me. I mean, you know, I could have an imagination. I don't know if it's cameras picking it up because it's hard for me to see that. But just trust me on that. The diagram is much to be desired. So there's another important point. And this is thanks to all the wonderful contributors that please, you could like sit here for hours and really make an assessment if you're considering. Am I sorry I bought this product? No, absolutely not. I, I can't wait to get to use it, but I have to, I have to talk to uh, my landlord. So that's pretty much it. When you're at the mercy of, you know, we have a landlord, you know, when you're in a rental, you have to, you know, do the right thing. You have to clear certain things and make sure of certain things. So I'm just being a nice person. <laughs> All right. Um, so one of the things else that I have learned uh, from viewing these marvelous videos, and you guys are great, is this. Some people have allergies, for example. And what they are doing is just using water and maybe a little bit of vinegar. Now, that sounds like a winner win a chicken dinner. Why? Because I already know that the vinegar softens up the water and you're not going to smell vinegar. If you're worried about smelling like a salad or something, you know, when the whole thing is said and done. No, you're not. But this is what I, I noticed from uh, someone's video. OK. And and the truth be told, it is the agitation the agitation itself that releases, you know, releases the dirt. Just saying, just saying, just, just a thought. If you're looking for a little natural, little bit of fabric softener there. So that kind of makes sense. And also to make really good use out of your spinner, because the spinner, dryer spinner, it's not really a dryer, but it's it ring, sort of like the old days, they call it a ringer. Uh, so it's a spinner and it just releases like, 90 something percent of the water then all you have to do and this is key and i think this should be emphasized so if it's not emphasized elsewhere i'm going to emphasize it now i think it is key to purchase a dryer rack okay so purchase a dryer rack they're relatively inexpensive they fold up you fold them up if, if you like short on space when you're done with it fold it up it's it, it's amazing. You can get them for like $35. They come metal, they come wooden, they, they, whatever you want. Uh, some are plastic. Um, some say assembly required. I stay away from that. The one I want is just open it up. There it is ready. That's me. Okay. That's me. Everybody's different. Everybody's situation is different. So what's the takeaway from this video? If I could impart any information, one, yes, read the manual. And so many people are sticking their tubs inside their washing machine. If you're getting this this model of Tebu, it clearly states, well, I can't say clearly. I had to like really like figure out. But it tells you, it does tell you in the manual, do not use in bathroom. They have reasons, right? There's always a reason for everything. So do not use in the bathroom. And uh, let me see. The other takeaway is, Use a little vinegar to soften soften up your uh, fabric. And this particular model, the one that, take a look at the attached video, okay, that just recently uploaded like a couple days back. Um, there's no lint basket. But what to do, you order, you have to order like a little bit of a, you know, lint, whatever, lint trap. And you just like float it literally in your washer, in the water while it's going and it collects lint because you don't want lint to collect. You know, they really should make that clearer in the ads, you know, when they sell things, but you know, the cute factor, 
it is really so cute. So I just thought I'd check in with you. And I thought I'd let you know before you make that purchase, things to consider. Have a great day.